we're doing an amazing job today, is tandem repeat is the next task. Um, I say we dive into this one and then maybe after this one, we'll take a quick break. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Let's dive in. Is tandem repeat. Determine whether the given string can be obtained by one concatenation of some string to itself. Ooh, okay. So this is kind of a neat one. Basically what they're asking is, is just, is this a word repeated, right? That, that's pretty much it. Is this just a word and then that same word itself? So, okay, let's, uh, let's see. How are we gonna do this one? I think a first strategy that might be kind of cool is to do, um, maybe we'll do like a two pointers thing. Yeah, okay, so let's say const length is input string dot length. And then we'll say const left and right are gonna be assigned the values of empty arrays respectively. I just wanna make sure of one thing, which is I wanna make sure that these are considered two different arrays. So we'll say left.push zero, and then we'll say return right. And if right is still empty, then we're good to go. Great. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't both being like bound to the same thing. So yeah, cool. I didn't think they would be, but just verifying. Great, so what do we wanna do here? Um, we're gonna load up left and right, and then at the end, we're gonna return left.join is equal to right.join. That's gonna be the plan. Okay. Mm. Oh man, I just had another idea. We'll save it, we'll save it. Um, hopefully we can get this done. Okay, okay, so here's what I wanna do. So for let i be assigned the value of zero, i is less than in uh, length divided by two, i plus plus. And then we'll say left dot push input string at i. And right dot unshift, because we're gonna put it on on the other side. And, uh, and then we'll say input string at um, length minus i minus one. Yeah, is that gonna work? Uh, maybe not. Oh, it did work for most of them. Okay, so then what's going on here? Well, ah, yeah, okay. Maybe we need to build in some extra check here. Something like if length mod two return false. Don't even bother going through that loop. It's false, man. Let's try running that. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so let's let's submit that. And um, we've got a suggestion from the chat here saying return in the for loop. So like, uh, like do this stuff inside the for loop. Yeah, I suppose we could do something like that. Um, yeah, let's, let's modify this so that a strategy like that would work, okay? So what's true of these tandem repeat things? Basically, the idea is that we know that it has to have an even number of characters. It's not gonna work if it doesn't have an even number of characters. That's why this is kind of an important line. The other thing is now we could do something like this. Since we know that it has to have an even number of characters, then we know that length divided by two is gonna be an integer value. It's gonna be a whole number. So with that in mind, we could do something like instead of left dot unshift, we could do, uh, sorry, right dot unshift, we could do right dot push. And then instead of length minus one minus i, uh, we could do length divided by two plus i. Yeah, right? Wouldn't that work? Can we do something like that? Let's see. Oh, well, this is still gonna run, so that was, yeah, okay, cool. So that still works then. That's another th that's another way we can do it. Uh, the thing is, uh, and, and actually, you know what? We could say something like this. We, we technically don't even need left and right for this one. Ooh, this is good. Don't make your code do useless stuff. If we don't need to use arrays, why bother storing them in memory? So let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of this whole thing. Let's just say um, something like this. So we'll say, whoops, no, that's too much. Okay, uh, instead of left.push, 
let's say const left is this thing because we're not using this for uh, for anything else now and const right is this thing in fact I suppose we could use a destructuring assignment for these but for now let's just do it like this and we'll say if left is not equal to right then return false this is just not going to work and the only situation under which it would work is if it was able to make it through that entire thing without returning false so there we go okay that's a lot better. I like that a lot better. It's returning false as soon as it can. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's not an even number of, uh, of characters? No way it could be a tandem repeat, so we might as well just return false. Don't need to go through this entire loop over here. Don't waste your time. And then if we do, you know, if it does look like, oh, you know, maybe this is a tandem repeat. Like maybe if this was like tandem and then uh, tan tandem or something like that. I don't know if it was like some different spelling, but very close. Then we make it through some of these and we'd be like, oh, the, the E and the O are not the same. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll return false, right? Okay. So basically, and then the only time that it would get to, to the end, uh, sorry, the only time it would return true if it is if it gets to the end. And uh, that's the only case where we would need to check the whole thing. So we're kind of using like a minimal amount of effort for this one, which I think is really nice. Now, uh, we could e even clean this up a little more, you know, like left could just be put in right there and right, I mean, same sort of thing. We could just paste it in over here. And now we don't need, need to store any additional variables in memory. I mean, we could even bring this up to the next line or the previous line, but that's mm -hmm, no, no thanks. Okay, cool. So I, I like that one a little better. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is a bit optimistic. It's giving the benefit of the doubt, right? It's saying, let's assume it's true until we have the evidence to say, oh, actually, no, it's false. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking about this one and I'm kind of thinking, okay, we could do this in a similar way where we just do something like... Um, uh, just right over here, we could do something like return input string dot slice going from zero to length divided by two equals input string dot slice length divided by two. Would that work? Yeah, yeah, that works too. So I think this is a really interesting situation here. This is definitely worth discussing because what we have are two algorithms, uh, and if we were to look at them, it would seem fairly obvious which one is the better choice here, I would say. Um, you know, because like this one looks so much shorter than this one over here. The thing is, I'm looking at this and I'm sort of thinking like, well, this one is, yeah, it looks nicer, it looks more compact, but in terms of what we're doing here, like the slice on this one and the slice on this one, it's kind of like we're doing all the work, um, even if it's not going to work out. You know, like let's say that um, it's it's the right, um, like it's an even number of characters, but none of the characters are the same at all, right? So it's just like like some random series of. Uh, of like, I don't know, 12 characters or something like that. So this one would do the same amount of work regardless of how many of the characters are the same. Whereas this one stops doing the work as soon as it knows that it can. So in that regard, I think the second algorithm is actually kind of better. Anyway, um, there are other ways we could do this one. I was thinking like maybe we could use a hash value or something like that. It might be kind of cool, but I think it's overkill for this one, so I'm satisfied with these. Let's uh, let's get out of here. We're gonna take a quick break and uh, we'll do some more of these. See you soon.